Hi, I'm Gerald and this is going to be a demonstration of how to install Webmin on the Ubuntu server and how to use the Webmin browser interface to access the Ubuntu server remotely and to complete tasks such as updating application packages and creating new users. The first step is to connect to the Ubuntu server using Ubuntu desktop so that we can access a web browser. And to do that, I will just go to search your computer and find a remote desktop client. And what I want to do here is change the connection type to SSH. Type in the IP address of the Ubuntu server. And in my case, it's 192.168.200.4. And just click connect. And now it wants our password. And I'm going to click OK. And now it connects us to the Ubuntu server. The first thing I want to do is go to Firefox and navigate to the Webmin documentation so that we can access the commands for downloading the repositories. So I want to go to doxfer.webmin.com and just scroll down to installation and it says installation how to obtain and install women so I'll click on this and we'll click on app get since we have the Ubuntu server and right here it gives us all of the commands for installing women so what we can do is just copy each of these lines and then go to our remote connection and just paste them in here and for this remote application we'll use the tools command to paste so I'll just paste that and click enter and what this is doing is adding this URL to the repository list and next I will copy and paste this line and this adds the key and next we'll do the app get update command and just paste it here And this gets all of the packages. And last, we can do the app get install command. And I'll just copy and paste that right here. And we just click or type in YFS to continue. And this gets all of the packages and package dependencies and installs them. Okay, it looks like Webmin is finished installing. So the next thing I want to do is go to Firefox and open up a new tab. And I'll just enter the IP address of the server and actually if I go here it says you can now log into https colon slash slash ubuntu webmin which is the name of the server colon 10,000 which is the port that we will connect to and um, we can log in with the name of the server or we can use the IP address and I like using the IP address, so I'll just type in HTTPS colon slash slash 192.168.200.4 colon 10,000 slash. And this gives us a message that says your connection is not secure. And I'll go to the advanced tab to add an exception for this IP address 
and I'm going to click here it says confirm security exception and this loads up the webmin page where we can log on so I'll just type in my username from the server so that I can log in and my password and click sign in and this signs into the webmin user interface and one thing to note if you're having trouble accessing webmin through the web browser you can make sure that your firewall is not blocking port 10,000 and if for some reason is you can set up a rule to allow port 10,000 to access the webmin user interface here so some of the things that we can do with webmin is just review the dashboard here and I'll click on system and some of the categories are boot up and shut down change passwords backup you can view processes you can schedule commands schedule cron jobs you can do software package updates and we can view system logs and make changes to users and groups and for this de demonstration I'll click on users and groups so that we can add a new user and this brings up a list of all of our users and groups and I want to create a new user named John Brown so I'll click on the button that says create a new user and it should bring up a form here and the username is J Brown user ID on Mac which will be 1001 and his real name is John Brown and home directory I'll just leave it as automatic and shell I'm going to change this to bash password I'll set a normal password and I'll just type in password and two three here for a sample password and down here with the password options you can set the minimum days for password set the warning days you can force change and this next logon you can set an expiration date you can set the minimum days and then active days and right here it says group membership we can set primary group membership and secondary group membership and right here it says upon creation will it create a home directory and I'll click yes and also leave the temporary files to the home directory and create user and other modules I'll just leave these click yes and click create to create this new user and if I scroll down to the bottom I can see where the new user named John Brown was created and this is his home directory next I can go to the remote connection and just double check it and do a cat command on the etc slash passwd file and we can see that it did in fact create a user named John Brown with the user ID name of J Brown and his home directory is home slash J Brown and this completes the installation and demonstration of how to use webmin to remotely add a new user to the Ubuntu server